Hello and welcome to Union Sam Carolina Sarasa. Happy Thursday, feliz jueves, and thank you for being here with us. And we begin this hour in Puerto Rico with today's top story. The governor there giving in to pressure to protesters who have been demanding his resignation for days. Ricardo Rosselló announcing overnight that he will resign. Lorraine Casares has more on this story. Mentioned that hashtag Wanda Renuncia or Wanda Resign was a trending topic on Twitter shortly after Rosselló's announcement. That's because she is accused of not investigating the mismanagement of aid right after the hurricane and giving governor government contracts to friends. So, Carolina, it's going to be very interesting to see if people even let her take mm -hmm. power because last night a lot of protesters were saying this is just the beginning. We're going to be after a lot of people. And we did see a change in Puerto Rico after only two weeks. Thank you, Lorraine, for that report. And joining those crowds to celebrate, rapper and activist Residente, he and other famous artists like from Puerto Rico, the girl Carolina Rosario, who's joining us by phone. She's been covering the protest in San Juan since the beginning. Carolina, can you describe the moment Rosselló announced his resignation? Wanda Vasquez, is there confidence in her? Can you repeat, Carolina? I can't. I couldn't hear you. Is there confidence in Wanda Vasquez? Move well, the governor already, so they can do it with the Secretary of Justice, Caro. Thank you, Caro, for that report from San Juan. And now to Washington, where Democrats are debating their next steps after one of the most anticipated congressional hearings in decades. The former special counsel was supposed to be a star witness for Democrats, but now many are questioning if he was able or not to move the needle on impeachment. And the Linares has more. Of the 235 Democrats in the House, there are at least 93 who've joined calls to start an impeachment inquiry process. But that process would be politically risky for Democrats because it would likely go nowhere in the Republican-controlled Senate. Some political analysts say that Democrats are now left with one option to end Trump's presidency, and that's the 2020 election. Caro, now back to you. Thank you, Andrea, for that report. Now, in New York, financier and accused sex trafficker Jeffrey Epstein was treated for injury. We have more coming up, including the head of... And welcome back to you News. New worries today about Notre Dame Cathedral. As crews race to save the structure, there is a new threat, a heat wave in France that has the church chief architect very worried about a possible collapse. Rafael for that report. And back here in the U.S., the sheep fire has not consumed about 110,000 acres in Idaho. But officially now, the new head of U.S. Border Patrol admits she was a member of a controversial secret Facebook group for CBP agents. Inside that group, jokes were posted about migrant deaths and derogatory comments were made about Latina lawmakers. Now, Chief Carla Provost forced to explain herself on Capitol Hill. Pedro Rojas has more details. Now, a tragic story out of Iowa. A mother and her two children escaped violence in their native country, Honduras, only to be killed here in the U.S. Now, a man from Guatemala is now charged with their murder. Ricardo Aramari has more. And coming up, one little boy getting himself... Welcome back to EU News. Canadian police have identified the third victim allegedly killed by two teenagers who are still on the run. They say that any parent knows this, little kids are pretty fast. But now an investigation is underway after a toddler was able to climb into a baggage conveyor belt at a major airport. Jorge Hernandez has the full story. Another incident involving young children. A store employee was injured in Missouri Wednesday when a pickup truck crashed into the store. Inside that truck, two men accused of using their own mothers. And we are back with more news. Cuba's president, Miguel Diaz Canel, and former leader, Raul Castro, met with Russia's foreign minister in Havana on Wednesday. It was part Peru for people trying to flee the crisis in Venezuela. That country has become a major destination with its relatively stable economy and flexible immigration laws. And now a new law is helping some of them to become citizens more quickly. As Maria Luisa Martinez explains, the plan is being considered a new type of sports diplomacy. And now to Colombia, where two men are being accused of using their mothers as unsuspecting drug mules. Gianni Aponte has all the details. And up next, Facebook agrees to a record. And 
Biden's tech giant Facebook will have to pay a multi-billion dollar fine. The company made a deal with federal officials who were investigating the company's privacy practices. Jaime Garcia has details on this record-smashing settlement. Question for all of you. What do Apple and Costco have in common? Well, these companies and more were founded by immigrants or their children, and their success is not an isolated case. A new report found that almost half of all 500 companies Fortune 500 companies were founded by immigrants or their kids. The report by New American Economy found that those companies had over $6 trillion in annual revenue last year. We are joined by one of the authors. After the break, an inventor tries. It is Thursday, finally, almost Friday, Media. Yeah. How exciting is that, right? <laughs> and Media Marias is here with a look at what's trending on this Thursday. Jueves. Jueves. <laughs> Okay, so let's start with producer, director, and choreographer Kenny Ortega. He has just received a star on Hollywood's Walk of Fame. Now, Ortega, who works here, react in second. How do you felt react? So, two big reactions there. Now, as soon as he finished, Milak looked at the scoreboard, ripped off his cap and goggles, and slapped the water. He did this full of emotion, very excited to have won. Now, Phelps said, and I quote, as frustrated as I am to see that record go down, I couldn't be happier to see how fine on that Perfect. side. <laughs> and Miriam, there's another man trying to set a record, a very creative inventor. That's right, and the French inventor of a jet power money, and I really have to think about it because it's really scary, and I'm not necessarily afraid of heights, but that seems like a long distance, and you don't seem too protected, so, I mean, I'm not really sure I could manage it. Do you think you could? I wouldn't be able to do it. I'm really scared of heights, but we will let everyone at home who's watching you news send us their comments mm -hmm. and say if they will be adventurous enough to go on such an adventure, that would be pretty scary. Yeah, you have to have a heart for it, I think, and, and definitely not be afraid of heights. So people <laughs> enjoy doing that, like former President George H.W. Bush. That yes, he did that even he though did. he was already getting a little bit older. We'll see you guys tomorrow.